What is up, y'all? This is Andy with Poster Grind, your neighborhood art director that designs movie posters for a living. Today, I'm going to show you how to create some awesome pixelated graphics that look like an old school Nokia cell phone. So without further ado, let's dive on in. The most important part of this tutorial is making sure that your image size is set up correctly. I'll be using four inches wide, four inches tall, and a resolution of 65. So make sure that resolution is at 65. Now go ahead and find yourself a cool image to work with. I found this Joker picture on the internet, so I'll be using that one today. Feel free to mask it out. It doesn't have to be perfect since everything is super pixelated. So I'll just go up to select, select subject, and then hit the mask icon over here in your layers panel. And that's going to remove the background. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and convert this into a smart object. From here, I'm gonna create a new layer right below the image hit T on the keyboard, and then type out a word. Then I'm gonna increase the image size by hitting Command T, and then the same thing with my type. Now we can go to our threshold adjustment layer, and then in the threshold properties, you can go ahead and mess around with how much black and white you want on your graphic. Now let's go ahead and create a grid. Go to new layer, then go to rectangle tool, and then on rectangle tool, you're gonna create a horizontal rectangle so that it's only one pixel in height. You can adjust the pixel height by hitting one and enter, and that confirms that it is only one pixel in height. Make sure that your fill is pure black. So go to fill and then hit the color, color picker. And on the color pickle, picker, just go ahead and drop that down to black. Hit V on the keyboard and move this so that it's your second row from the top. The cool thing is we can use step and repeat to create this grid. On your keyboard, hit Option Command T or Alt Control T on the PC. Now using your mouse or Wacom, Wacom pen, you can go ahead and drag a copy down two pixel lengths. Definitely don't forget to hit enter or this won't work. So hit enter and from here, go ahead and hit shift option command T or alt command T on a PC. And then go ahead and hit T until you fill your entire screen with these horizontal rectangles. And I'm gonna go a little bit further and now you can hit enter and then right click on that layer and go to convert to smart object. You can drag this up to make sure that it's covered all the way. All you have to do at this point is go ahead and hit command J and then hit Command T, and then turn these vertical. From here, let's go to the gradient map. Now that you're in gradient map, we can go ahead and create a gradient so that it matches that green computer screen that we all know. So on one of your stops, go to color, and then go ahead and match my adjustments now. And then let's go to the other stop and turn this into a dark blue. Like so. This doesn't look right because our black should be that dark blue. So all we have to do is hit OK and then hit reverse on your properties like that. Now those grids are looking a little too strong. So what we're going to do is turn this into its own group by hitting, by selecting both, by holding down the shift key hit Command G, and now we can go ahead and change the blending mode. So I'm gonna put it at screen, and then I'm gonna zoom in to show you what that just did. So we have this little grid in our darks, and looks even more realistic. Another thing you can do is make a copy of this group by hitting Command J, and then drag this down below our threshold. So if you wanted to take this even further, you can go ahead and do that as well and mess around with the blend mode. If y'all could do a quick solid and hit that like button, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much. So I'm just gonna hide it because I just wanted to show you that's just another way to make pixelations. In order to make this file ready to drop into a larger DPI file is convert it to a smart object. So I'm gonna go to new layer and then on my keyboard, I'm gonna hold down shift option, command E, and that's gonna take a snapshot of our artwork. From here, we can go ahead and right click 
convert to smart object. Let's say you want to drop this into a new project or a new file with the higher DPA. All you need to do is go to file, new, and then look for a custom or create your own custom document. I'm just going to go with this one with a DPI of 150, hit create. And then I'm going to go back to our graphic, hit command C on the keyboard to copy and then command V to drop it in. And like that, our, our Nokia style graphic is ready to be used in a new file. And there you go, guys. That's how you do a cool pixelated Nokia style graphic in Photoshop. Thanks so much for watching. See you on the next video.